I shared the knowledge that I've attained throughout my life um, outdoors. I'm encouraging or helping teachers get their students outdoors to broaden their experience in, the, in our natural environment. We, uh, we opened up the hide, scraped off all the flesh from inside, um, then we put it in a liming solution, so we could, uh, or a bucking solution. It's made out of lime and water, and that helps uh, the hair slip out of the follicles. So when that happens, we have to scrape the hair off of the hide, and then we have to go and remove the grain underneath the hair, which is the, uh, the layer of uh, dermis that holds the hair follicles in the hide itself. So we got the majority of that done last week. Um, we're gonna have to re-soak it just to rehydrate the hide because it's dried over the weekend. And then we're gonna continue with the graining process to get all of the, uh, the grain off of the back of the skin. If that's not removed, it's gonna create hard spots and it won't accept the tanning solution. So we have to remove that today. Then we're going to be soaking the hide multiple times and then wringing it out. Do you guys want to hold this and see what it's like before it goes in the water? Grab, grab a hold, grab it. It kind of feel like, feels like plastic. So if we hydrated that or got it wet again and then laid it out so it's flat, this is, no, this is called rawhide, the state it's in now. This could be used to make a drum or cut into strips for tying snowshoes together or dog sleds or different like canoe packs when you're portaging, all sorts of things. But for now, we're gonna put it in the water. So you wanna stretch that out. See, just like that. So you wanna get those wrinkles out of that as best we can. We'll put it back in there in the water. We didn't share a lot of our culture growing up. We kept it hidden. And now we're in a different time and we get to um, have a whole new audience that are willing to um, take part in this, which is really special.